Yeah, so the research we are performing at uh, the Bioorganic Chemistry Group at the Radboud University in Nijmegen is inspired by nature. In fact, we are looking at nature to see how nature is capable of making well-defined materials and also how nature is capable of controlling synthetic processes that occur within the cellular environment. And we'd like to use a combination of technologies from, from peptide chemistry, organic chemistry, but also polymer chemistry and even protein engineering to make hybrid materials that combine the versatility of synthetic polymers with the biological function of proteins and peptides in particular. And by doing so we hope to really achieve a, a new level of a kind of materials that combines the best of both worlds. In fact there are different areas we're working on. Uh, one of the areas is the area of peptide amphiphiles in which we make peptides uh, kind of capable of self-assembly and we hope to control the aggregation phenomena but also the biological function by, by uh, changing their conformation. Another area we're quite active in is the, active, uh, is the area of uh, structural proteins. We're looking for example at spider silk, elements of spider silk and other structural protein called elastin. And we're studying and kind of uh, improving their, their behavior. Um, very important fact of our research is really the area of uh, polymersomes. And with polymersomes we kind of try to incorporate enzymes at different locations within the polymersome to create a nanoreactor in which a cascade process is possible. And for example we recently have made it possible to put three different enzymes inside one nanoreactor of about 100 nanometer size. And these three enzymes, uh, lipase, glucose oxidase and horseradish peroxidase, were able to perform a cascade reaction. And we could clearly see that the entire cascade was connected to this polymersome structure. I think this, this area of mixing chemistry and biology together and bringing them more and more closely together is an exciting development of which we see many examples all over the world and especially also I think in Europe. And this field of chemical biology is moving forward very quickly. And what we hope to achieve with our systems for example is really to also go much more in the field of biology to see if we can bring chemistry closer to biology and to integrate these two disciplines even further. And for sure I think that this will be an exciting development for the next decades in material science but also extending very nicely to life sciences and chemistry.